Self-care is great, but community care, I think, is much better. Healing and mental health, you know, we can make it sound like it's all frou-frou, but it's, it's hard. It's messy. It's not always comfortable. And so we need each other on that pathway. We need people who've had similar experiences to us, people who care about us. And so we need to think about other strategies and center the wellness of the entire community. Seeing my students succeed gives me unlimited amounts of power. People can take your job away, they can take your health care away, they can take your political status away, but no one can take away your education. I knew instinctively that COVID was going to impact black and brown communities disproportionately, but the media weren't talking about it at that point. It occurred to me that we should give away free therapy. Just it was right there. Seeing my kids thrive off of the things that I've created in our community, that is a source of power for me. Part of what I push my community to do is not to just limit themselves with individual change, but extend themselves to that local change and then system change. What gives me power in my work and in my passion is the fact that it can be done. Gains can be made. Societies across our lifetime have shown that. Is it hard? Hell yeah, it's hard. We have to make our own tools and make our own pathway. And we're working to do that. I grew up in a space where I think a lot of us didn't have tools. And so when I get a chance to get a new tool, I feel empowered, I feel hopeful. Our theory of change involves helping people at a very individual level so that they can recognize that they have a power to affect change in the community around them.